OpenSci Ed, Deb Holland, Secretary of the Interior, Student Facing Video. Deb Holland speaks on a balcony overlooking the Washington Monument. Hi, I'm Deb Holland, Secretary of the Interior. Animals, plants, insects, and all living things are part of the balance of nature that our world relies on. But today there are species at risk of being lost forever. Over a century ago, we learned that forms of wildlife are not only valuable, but vulnerable to human actions. I often think about the heartbreaking extinction of the passenger pigeon, a bird who supplied sustenance to small communities and migrated in massive flocks across the middle of our country. Their migrations made seasonal sounds and the spectacle of their sheer numbers was a part of American life. A Potawatomi chief remarked once that he witnessed these birds drop from their course like meteors from heaven. But sadly, mass hunting and human disruptions to their nesting grounds created a domino effect. And in 1900, the last known wild passenger pigeon died in captivity. Our national symbol, the bald eagle, faced a similar fate until we took active steps to save them. Whether we think about it regularly or not, plants and wildlife make all of our lives better, and they need our active protection. At Interior, we're bringing partners together to recover plants, fish, wildlife, and their habitats before they need protection under the Endangered Species Act. It's a strategy that's making great strides, in part because conserving one at-risk plant or animal often benefits many others. While significant progress has been made in safeguarding our nation's imperiled animals, plants, and insects, many still face daunting challenges to recovery, including climate change. The Endangered Species Act is so important to ensuring our next generation experiences the wonders of nature. Our new America the Beautiful initiative to conserve 30% of our lands and waters by 2030 will go a long way to complementing the Endangered Species Act by valuing traditional knowledge, expanding collaborative conservation, increasing access for outdoor recreation, and creating jobs by investing in restoration and resilience projects and initiatives. On this Endangered Species Day, I honor the science-based work that protects so many critical species. I encourage everyone to think about how you can play a role in protecting animals, plants, and insects now for future generations. The seal for the Department of the Interior is shown, depicting a bison on a plane in front of mountains, with the date March 3, 1849 on the bottom. DOI.gov. The video ends. Open Syed.